Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a mind map inside of Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly is great for sharing ideas visually, and what better way than with a mind map? Today, we're going to create a mind map about cupcakes. So the first thing that we need to do is brainstorm our topic. So I came up with a few different things we could put inside of our mind map. Types of cupcakes, frosting flavors, occasions, decorations, baking tips, and fun facts. Next, we need the mind map itself. So you can draw or create your own simple graphics and then import them into Doodly, which is what I'm doing today. You could either bring in the entire document. So this image here, I created and I could bring it in like this or you could break it up and do it into different pieces and I think that's what I'd like to do for my mind map so let me go ahead and create a new scene and go to props and import all of my little graphics that I did of this so you go to your blue plus sign and drag and drop them inside and you'll see these are the pieces that I made and the reason that I want to do it in pieces like that is so that I can draw them, then write the little point, and then draw another branch and write the little points and so on. And you notice I named them all mind map and numbered them. So if I type in mind map, I have all of my little pieces. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my main one first, just so I can use it as kind of a guide of where I want to put my other graphics. So I want it to fill the screen and this is going to be my center. I'm just going to add it there. I don't want it that large. So see how this is helping kind of guide me as I do this. And then I have these numbered. So I'm going to start with mind map one and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then mind map two. Mind map three. Four. Okay, so now that they're in place, I can get rid of my background and then just fine tune them a little bit so that they look a little bit nicer. Okay, I think that looks good. Now, the whole reason for me splitting these up is because I want to do the hand drawing. So let's start with the first one. Click the pencil and let's make our drawing path. Okay. This one does have a colored interior. So now to zoom in, I go here. It, so I want to be fairly precise. So let's get my line here. So I don't really want to reveal too much of the pink. I mean, it's okay if I do. This is going to happen pretty fast. And then now I'm going to add a new path and I'm going to make a fatter path size and it's going to sweep back and forth here with this color on here really quick okay save and return and then I want to draw my first one and probably have it come out like this and then go like that Okay, so click your pencil icon and we're going to start at the bottom. So it's coming out of my pink button. And you can adjust the path size here. And then we need a new path. Save and return. And go ahead and do that for all of the elements. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video and get all of these done. Okay, so I've created all of the drawing paths for each of these individual items. Now the timing is going to be a little off probably. Let's just take a look. I just want you to see how the whole drawing part works. Now, I think this would be a very boring video if I left it like this, doing 21 seconds of the hand drawing that before we even get into what it's about. 
So of course, we're gonna want to make some adjustments. But before I do that, let's go ahead and put our text in here. So let's pick a font. I'm just gonna take this one. You type in cupcakes. And then our first topic is going to be, what is it gonna be? Types, so types of cupcakes. So let's pick another font. I know this is looking kind of messy right now. So we're gonna change that. Control or command click each of your little pieces of text here. And this selects them all at once. And that way you can change the size all at once and move them. So I just want to make sure I get the sizing where it, it makes sense. So I'm kind of using frosting flavors as my one that needs to fit and then everything else I can work with. Okay, so I like that size. So now we're just going to... So we're going to start, we're going to go left to right. So we're going to go types and let's think of some different types of cupcakes. And I'm going to do the same thing with the text. Make sure I get it to a size that's going to work and then I will arrange them once I do. And that's looking pretty good. Now at this point we can start fiddling with some things. Okay, so the first thing that's going to draw on is this pink button. And then I'm going to want to type in the word cupcakes. And then the next thing that's going to come on is this branch. Okay, so this branch right here. So I'm going to type in types right after that branch. And then I probably want to type in my types before I do the next branch. Okay. And then this one's going to draw on and then frosting flavors. Oh, I put the wrong words in there. Sorry. So, so type types, and then we need the actual correct word. So bear with me. I wasn't even reading. So types chocolate. Carrot cake. And red velvet. Okay, so before frosting flavors comes on, we want our branch. Okay, and then then we want her flavors. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five flavors. So we're going to add the text. Okay, I am back and I have already entered all of my text, sized it, and put it in the appropriate location inside this list here. So they're all in order. But there's a few things that I want to change. See how it seems off center? It seems like it's too far over to the right. I want to move everything over to the left just a little bit. So to do that the easy way, hit Command or Control plus the letter A. That selects everything. And now you can just move it. So I'm going to center it like so. And that looks better to me already. Now remember I said the timing is going to be a little wonky. Let's just take a look. Remember, I have three seconds as the default for all this drawing. Then each writing takes one and a half seconds. So to me, that's just really slow. Let's select all of our little diagrams. Control or Command click. Okay. Now that they're all selected, if we Click the little gear icon. Duration, three seconds, we can change that. So let's make it 1.5 seconds for each of those and hit apply. Yes, and that should make things go a little faster. Now what about the text? I think one and a half seconds for each of these words is gonna be a little long as well. So we wanna go through and select all the ones that we want to change to, let's say one second or even less. Okay, so one second. I can go like 0.8. Yeah, let's do 0.8. Hit apply. It's going to be a lot shorter. So let's take a look now. Oh, 
Okay, so that is looking good timing wise. I think that'll be just fine. Now the final thing, if you wanted to add some colorful graphics, you know, some cupcakes or anything else, you could certainly do that. So let's just do something to jazz it up a little bit. And then let's maybe make this, uh, these topics a different color. So if you click the gear icon, you can choose a different color and let's just make them blue. And that's basically it. Let's take a quick look and we'll be done. Obviously, you could add a voiceover or music if you'd like. And likewise, you could change the timing and put delays here and so forth, depending on what your voiceover might be saying. But I think this gives you a pretty good idea of the process involved. And there you have it. That's how you can create a mind map using Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.